Hello and welcome to another Billions of Enemy X unboxing today with B48, the newest booster pack release. Uh, with these two, I think they have the same name. I could only find like Yith. I, I have no idea how to pronounce the name, but it's a very weird name. And yeah, there is a, a EGR rarity in this set with uh, a picture of these two characters with the artwork. And it's, I think it's the, uh, the the most expensive card from the set. And yeah, so far, I never pulled the EGR rarity. I I do own now two cards of this rarity. I I just bought the single cards because I I think they just look amazing with the foiling and texture. But yeah, maybe one one day I would really love to pull the EGR, but I I actually don't know the pull ratio. Don't even know if they are one per case. And since I don't have the money to buy whole cases, I I guess my chances are not that high. But yeah, still, let's try. Uh, I have looked into the card gallery a little bit, at least to see if there are any Egyptian themed characters or like, yeah, prayer beast, how they are called here, prayer beast characters. But yeah, this set has no no Egyptian characters. But there were still like some amazing artworks that I would like to pull, like the EGRs. But in total, there are three EGRs. And the second most expensive is the it's yeah the witch character with green hair. It's uh, Kisara Domiki. And yeah, this this is another nice character, even if it's not a Egypt, Egyptian themed character. But I do like like this one and we have our first okay an SSR okay this is nice yeah it's again a little bit confusing for me because uh, there were like some like a lot of sets in the past that I've opened that didn't have the SSR rarity uh, I would say that the SSR rarity is like basically the WR rarity uh, yeah, no idea why they switched to SSR again, but from the texture and yeah, from the from the card foiling effect, it's basically a WR rarity, like the the one that where it has has the shatter foiling and the gold stamped lettering of the name. So yeah, it's I have no idea what they are doing. I just do love the cards and the artwork. Especially the the higher rarities, the textured cards like MGNR. Wow, this is a nice, nice full art card. And yeah, this is a, this is just a regular SR. But it's basically from the cold foil. It's basically a LR. I don't know. Sometimes they are changing things with the rarities and stuff. Maybe just to make it feel like they do something new i i don't know and since zedix is still like super small like looking at my my past videos of zillions of anime it's still like super niche and not many people know even know that the card game and yeah not many people watch the videos but i still i will i will just continue opening zedix even if it's just for for myself, I do think that this TCG is uh, a lot underrated and it's affordable. Like if you pre-order the boxes, especially on Amazon, you get like a price guarantee. Sometimes the prices are dropping before the release and then you get the, the cheapest price at the release. And yeah, they are not that expensive. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Who is this Kune Naika? Oh, Nia. It is of <laughs> This is Nia in the end. Okay. Cute. Another S. Okay. I have seen this artwork on a preview. I do follow the the ZX uh, Twitter or now it's like X account, and they do share preview artworks or cards. For the set releases and 
yeah, this was one of the, the previews I saw, and I think it looks so amazing with the some kind of chain that's punching or like going towards us, punching us in the face, I want to say. Yeah, this looks super cool. But yeah, again, the SR is basically, again, an LR, LR card. And the rare of this one, okay, this is so cute. The rare, even the rare cards like these full art versions look amazing in foil. But it can get super difficult if you want, like me, if you want a certain rare card in foil, don't try to pull it. Uh, they are not that expensive, even if I think it's uh, yeah super hard to pull them if you just want one, because there aren't that many foil rare cards in a box. So yeah, chances are you, you're not pulling the one or two characters you want to have in foil. And they are like, I don't know, 200 yen or they, they are so cheap. So yeah, I did pick up a lot of the, the missing Egyptian prayer beast character cards recently. Oh yeah, this is a uh, character, I Yisu, Yis. And this time, not even a foil in the pack, so yeah. In the booster packs, they, they are less hits, I think, yeah. They are also not as expensive as the smaller packages called extra booster packs. The boxes are uh, in a different format. But they do have more hits, as far as I remember. The rare plus, no idea what that means. That the rarities are so confusing. So it's a rare plus, but it's basically again like a like a LR rarity with the cold foil. Okay, and yeah, so far only the SSR hit, which would count as a big one. But I don't. Know, maybe we have some some last pack magic. Hopefully. Or we were like a little bit unlucky with our hits. Oh, we are a little bit unlucky. Okay, we get a nice foil. But we don't get even like the, the SSR cards are not textured really. They do have, as I said, the, the gold stamped lettering. They are like a WR rarity. So yeah, this box feels a bit unlucky. I will be opening maybe more packs in my in my live streams. I don't think I will record another video. But yeah, let's hope and that I, I get something from this set in my live streams. And yeah, let's end, end the video with a Force of Will pack. But yeah, maybe this box was uh, so cheap because they now have, again, reduced the pull ratio, which is uh, which I'm not a fan of. Remember in the past booster packs uh, or the booster boxes, you were guaranteed basically like a WR and a double rare. But yeah, I don't know. They are still doing new stuff. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.